So I'm going to read now uh, Dr. Ben Witherington. Um, he writes, we have four Gospels, but one Jesus. What should we make of that? Well, first of all, it's the intelligence of the early Christians to recognize that Jesus was far too complex a historical figure to be subsumed under one portrait. The Gospels are like portraits, and so it's recognizably Jesus in all four of the canon canonical Gospels. But at the same time, they are taking different angles of incidents into the character of Jesus in various ways. I'll give you an example. In the Gospel of John, we have basically no parallels, parables and no exisms. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus is characterized by parables. The most frequent miracles in the early part of the Gospel of Mark is exisms. Well, these are different portraits and yet manifestly the same Jesus. And each Gospel writer has a slightly different point of view about Jesus, not in the sense that one thinks he's the Christ and another thinks he's not, but that, but that they have different emphasis about how to reveal that Jesus was, how to reveal that Jesus was the Jewish Messiah, and at the same time the Saviour of the world. And so they felt, felt free, and they had the freedom under inspiration to emphasise different aspects and different portions of the min ministry of Jesus in different ways of framing the question and giving answers. So uh, I think that's really good.